So you want to hit Cooking Guru in Black Desert Online but you don't know how and you want an easy way? Then keep on watching and I will tell you how I hit Guru in less than a month. Hi, my name is Pika. I'm a small content creator and a Twitch streamer and I've played uh, Black Desert Online for about 5 years now and I hit Cooking Guru in one month i think about one month and i'm now at cooking guru 22. so as a first point we need to search for a city where we want to cook in right so for cooking you want to stay in a larger city i would recommend you one of these four so i would recommend you either calfion velia heidel or odraxia for me the reason is that you have your storage keeper right near any residence as well as the imperial cooks and some fruits vendor quite nearly together. My personal recommendation for you is to stay in Calfion. The reason is that you can get for very cheap your residency right here, have your storage keeper right on this side and the imperial cook right on this corner over here for your residency i would also suggest you to go to any storage keeper and get the storage container to put in your residency so as you can see right here right over here we have our storage container which can access our local storage right with one click in our residency which is very useful for later on to get the materials out and start cooking right away second then would be to get around one second of cook time which is almost not possible if you don't want to spend time but even then it's gonna be around 1.1 second since the cooking process has to restart over every time that you finish one product to keep it short and simple and easy to do i'm just going to give you the things that i have researched for and what i did so first and foremost we are gonna go ahead and equip our silver embroidered cook's clothes which are plus three for me if you have enough funds you can also get the plus four one the plus three does give you four seconds of reduction reduction times the plus three four one does give you minus five seconds as a next step, you want to get your artifacts, which would be two of the Sephra's artifacts for cooking experience. Then you will equip on them Lightstone of Flora Secret three times, as well as one of the Iridescent Lightstones. You also want to equip one of the Life Spirit Stones, or if you have enough funds, get a Sharp or Sturdy Alchemy Stone of Life which will also give you cooking reduction as well as a weight limit. So, we are gonna equip our Sephiroth artifacts of the cooking experience two times and then we wanna get also a little bit of uh, accessories down which will give us some cooking mastery which will help us level up even faster. I would recommend you to get the Logia set. I do currently only have the Logia ring since I upgraded it to Manus but the Logia accessories are accessories that are way easier to buy off the central market since they aren't as expensive as the Manus ones. So you would preferably get tree or head accessories. If you decide you want to spend some money on the game or if it is profitable for you, then I would recommend to always get the canopy for the cooking experience and the cooking time reduction, which would be minus two second times and the cooking experience plus 15 percent so this is what you also want to get if you want to spend some money for 2900 pearls so next up you want to use the seafood crown meals and eat that as a experience buff as well it does give you 10 percent of xp buffs as well as 0 0.6 cooking reduction get yourself some verdure draw to also get one second of cooking time off if you want to spend it on that but maybe later on as well as the perfume of swiftness for later on when we will do the last step and equip yourself with mercenary life skill roll which you will get daily by just pressing z opening up the rewards and then you will see the daily focus time where you can choose either the mercenaries experience 
all the mercenaries' life scrolls. For getting the cook cooking guru, I would recommend you to get the life scroll and just redeem that. The last thing that we do need is a cooking utensil. I would recommend for you to get the advanced cooking utensil off of the central market, which you can always put up into pre-order for the one second cooking reduction. If you do overnight cooking, I would recommend you to do the Calfion traditional cooking utensil, which does do the cooking time not very good. It will be a cook time up for seven seconds, but the durability is very much higher than normally, which is 2000. If there are none of the advanced cooking utensils available to buy right up, you can always put them onto pre-order. You can put 10 per pre-order or you can just straight up buy some or make them yourself. As we can see here, we have the advanced cooking utensils set up already. I have the durability of 900, but since I already cooked on it, we only have 629 durability left. We can decide to repair it. We do not have to exchange the cooking utensil. You just press F5 and then this one will just pop right up since you are using a cooking repair tool. And here we see everything is back up at 900. You can exchange any cooking utensils down at the cook. So right here in Calfion, you can exchange the cooking utensils right here at the tavern owner. You just press R and exchange them for the advanced cooking repair tools and use them later on on your utensils. So for the different kinds of things that we are gonna cook, we do need different kinds of material like fruits, chicken meat or even potatoes or pumpkins or nutmeg or stuff like that. So we either need to gather this stuff ourselves, buy it off of fruit vendors and or invest into different kinds of nodes that bring us this stuff in. So I'll just show you the easiest ways. All right, first off, you see right here, we have Milano Bellucci, this lady right here. She will sell us the fruit that we will need while cooking. It will cost a little bit more than maybe making it yourself or getting the stuff by the node system, but it is a very easy way to get these things right here. The things that you do want to buy is the strawberries. It's not really recommendable to buy the other stuff since they are very expensive in comparison to the strawberry and it's just the strawberry that we need. All right, let's go ahead and buy some strawberries. Let's buy multiples. Let's buy 500. You will need a lot more. Then I will pop up a list of nodes that are profitable for you to invest in for cooking stuff like Finto Farm where you can get potatoes and chicken meat as well as eggs. Logia farm as well again for potatoes. Here down in Heidel we have Alejandro farm which gives us pumpkin and if later on you need it also the cooking honey. Down at Costa farm as well as Moretti farm. Over here in the Valencia region you will get to Valencia city which will give you the date palm. And down here in Shakatu you will get the fix. As I'm not gathering the stuff for my Valencia meals or for my Valenus meals for myself, I honestly am not the most knowledgeable to ask. So I will link down below some other videos which are a little bit more detailed and give you a little bit more of information about that. <clears throat> All right, now that we are back here at our cooking station, we will now do all the cooking. So we will start off with our vinegar and we will make vinegar until we are at artisan one. So as you can see, we need all of those four things. The apples, which are substituted by the strawberries that we got, sugar and the leavening agent, which we will get down by the cook and wheat, which we can either get from the central market or you can invest in some notes that will give you the wheat. <laughs> so let us keep this one open for a second just so we don't make any mistakes, right? Let us go to our container, let us get out our seafood cornmeal, one of the mercenary life skill things. 
where to draw and then equip for myself i have the alchemy Sto life spirit stone i don't have the sturdy one and i will activate now the seafood crown meal as well as the mercenary's life the virtual draw and the perfume of swiftness i would leave you up for later on when we reach the end goal so do not worry too much about that now for now we will get our wheat let's get out 10,000 of a thousand of that then we have already the strawberry in our inventory which we do have here some more then we need leavening agent which i have where do i have my leavening agent there we go let's get 2,000 of those and sugar there we go sugar for the very difficult recipe of vinegar we use one leavening and be sure to only put one in as the recipe says don't put in as many as you think you will need to make a, a batch of a thousand no only put one in so you put one leavening agent in one sugar in one of the wheat and one strawberry there you go and then start cooking as you see, we've made one vinegar. Now we go back into the cooking uh, utensil and we see here, right here that we have done vinegar. So let's click on this and it will show us the last recipe or like the last few recipes that we have done. Select that again and do a batch production, which we will end for now and do the maximum quantity. And the maximum quantity that we can do at the moment is 999. And so we just leave it running until that's over. And you will make a lot of vinegar until you add artisan one. It is gonna be a lot. But vinegar is gonna be needed for something else. Which we will do on from artisan to master one. So from artisan to master one we will do the pickled vegetables. For the pickled vegetables you will need cabbage or as we can get out from the notes pumpkins. You will need the pumpkins. The vinegar, which we already made a bunch of since we are at Artisan 1 now. Leavening agent again, as well as sugar. We are gonna take out our pumpkin this time. Which if you need some help like I do, you can just put the search bar and put pumpkin. Let us get out some pumpkins. So for the pickled vegetables, you need 8 of the pumpkins, 8 pieces. Four pieces of the vinegar, two pieces of leavening agent, and two pieces of sugar. We will all input then it here. Start cooking again, just make one portion of it so that you register the recipe. Go back in, do pick the vegetables, and then just do a bunch of these. You can get higher quality uh, pick pumpkins from the central market, which will reduce the amount that you need while cooking. But honestly, just leave the, note, the game running, get the pumpkin from your notes and just use these. And do a batch production <laughs> and continue on until you hit master one. So from master on to guru, you have a lot of different types of options. I personally did pickled vegetables up till I hit guru. That is one option. You can turn the pickled vegetables into cooking boxes and turn them into the imperial cook. Will give you that will give you a lot of money. Well, a lot of money. It will give you out more money than you have invested. So you will sell out all of that again. Then there is also the option to do stuff like Valencia meals, Baleno meals, and Serenia meals, and Odraxia meals, which will all give you a little bit of a different type of um, amount of experience. Preferably you will do the Calfion meals, Baleno meals or the Odraxia meals, which the ingredients in itself are easier to get to guru as well. In my case, I only did the pickled vegetables and then turned them in and for getting back up to guru 22, I bought myself from the central market the ingredients to make the Valencia meal, which in itself is probably a loss of money in my case but i did get the experience of making the dishes so that put me up at guru 22. i hope this guide has been good for you and 
have you in a little bit. I'm not the most knowledgeable, per knowledgeable person in the game. I only do the easy way to get to my goal, which was Cooking Guru. And yeah, I make my money out of it. I get around 200 billion. I get about 200 million a day selling the cooking boxes. And yeah, I just get my Valencia meals off of the central market, turn them into boxes and sell those. So yeah, if you've liked the video, please leave a follow, like or comment, or even if you don't like it and have some constructive criticism for me, please do let me know how I can improve myself. And follow me on Twitch if you want to. My name on Twitch is twitch.tv slash module underscore pika. And yeah, we'll have a lot of fun there. People make fun of me and my inventory because I am very chaotic and I am a messy person in game. Thank you so much for watching.